courtesy of the TFAT K channel. I quickly want to mention this for you guys. I'm sure most of you guys have already seen this here. This is a clip taken for TFAT K channel. It says Brendan has no clue why podcast, well, sorry, why people hate him so much. I find this clip interesting. Another, again, another illustration of the guy being a bigger hater than anybody that's on the fucking T5K k subreddit. And it also is funny because it's so unwarranted <laughs> and so unneeded, this kind of insult on what not he's doing. Because most likely, if somebody did this about him, like if somebody went on his fucking Instagram and pulled up a picture of him and his wife and his kids, or just pulled up his wife's fucking Instagram account, and just started saying some shit about how she displays herself on social media, or started going in about how his kids look and shit, or how his brother looked, he would not take it well. Like, we already know how he is when it comes to people criticising him, or no, when it comes to people kind of teasing him. You know, we already had that story of him going to the comedy store, and I don't know who it was, comedian. I think Eric Griffin said it, right? Where he met him once, and he was kind of, you know, giving a bit of ribbing behind the scenes, and he complained to somebody. I think he might have complained even to Joe Rogan about something. I forgot who it was. Some comedian at the comedy store said something to him, and he basically whined to Joe Rogan about it. And Joe Rogan had to tell him, like, bruv, you're a stand-up comedian. This is what we do. Like, shut the fuck up. So the fact that he would go out of his way to say this <laughs> is fucking insane. About Al Pacino and his family is fucking crazy. But let's play the clip anyway so you can hear what he says. Oh, they suffer from very bad oh, immune disease. They do. They, they Can click on the one of the with him with the glasses, the and nurse one. The, 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 what do you mean? This one? Brennan. Yeah, that one. Brennan. Brennan. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Just hold on. Ain't that a bitch? You're Al Pacino and, and that's your squad. <laughs> Is that his son? God wait, you know what, Al? Nice. You've had a good run, right? He goes, he, I sure he have. His children. I'm gonna give you the two of his kids. Stop, on the no, 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 no. stop saying that. <laughs> Listen, there's a bad pictures. They had rheumatoid arthritis. And the thing as well about this here that would be funny is that if he was one of those kind of edgy comics that kind of made these edgy type of jokes, fair, no problem. And if he was also somebody that was that was willing to like, as bad as he, you know, as much as he gave it out, he could also take it. That's fair. But we know Brendan's the most thin-skinned human to have ever walked on the face of the earth, especially for a stand-up comedian. He does not like getting teased. He does not like being the butt of the jokes. He hates it when people point out the fact that he you know repeats people's jokes or he mispronounces words or gets facts wrong that like he facts wrong he doesn't like it in the slightest so the fact that he would sit there and go out of his way to insult somebody children who aren't even a part of the entertainment industry or just happen to be the kids of some famous dude that acts and stuff is fucking diabolical legitimately diabolical especially if you think about how some people are with their families there's some people out there that don't play no games. Some people really will go, you know, will legitimately go to fucking, you know, they'll go to the end, the ends of the earth to protect their family and defend them in any way, shape or form. They don't play any shape or form in that way. And the fact that Brendan would do that is legitimately a really clear example of like how he is deep down or what he actually thinks of people behind the scenes this is maybe the best indication that you can kind of see of what he's actually like in real life and maybe another representation of what some people on like the fire and the kids subreddit see without him saying because i think that's a one thing right that i think a lot of people on the internet don't figure out especially these guys who don't have an ability to understand how they're perceived by fans and stuff right around the country blah 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 all this stuff right i legitimately think some of these guys don't realize that a lot of us myself included we watch a lot of people's content we're sometimes fans of people or sometimes you watch stuff from people because you're hate watching it or because you just want to laugh at it but you watch a lot of people online you watch a lot of you, lot, you watch a lot about somebody online. No, you watch a lot. Whatever that term is. You know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> you consume a lot of their content. And you usually over time, if you consume a lot of enough content of somebody, you can usually figure out who they are as a person. There's not a lot you can kind of hide if you kind of put a lot of content out there. People can kind of suss you out. And I think a lot of people from the beginning sussed Brendan out. And I think it kind of, you know, upset him in that way that they're able to call out his bluff from the beginning of like, nah, this guy is not the greatest guy. He's a bit of a douchebag. He maybe has a bit of a dark heart. He maybe doesn't have the best intentions. He maybe does, he maybe is a bit mean spirited. Maybe he is a bit of a bully. Like people could just sense it without even him being overt in it. And I think that's maybe something that people don't really, I don't know, they don't really kind of, 
talk about enough the ability of somebody to just kind of call out from the fact so I think a lot of these type of things when they kind of leak out especially much much you try to hide it your kind of true nature sort of like jumps out you know like one of those fucking alien covenant fucking creatures and shit absolutely diabolical that you'd say that to be fair I saw it and I was like god almighty mate yo if I'm Al Pacino I'm asking you to shoot a fair one outside in the streets mate we're not we're not you know what I mean we're not gonna have we're not gonna be playing those type of games here um another one is this one personally this is another really interesting one. Again, to quote, taken from the T5K channel, which I think is really interesting. Yeah, This is t- titled, Brendan Shaw trashes Chris Lee's wife and others in less than one minute. Just the thing about this for me is that in this particular clip, he kind of, uh, you know, makes fun of Chris Lee's wife because she's got, a, an, uh, you know, she's a former athlete in his head. Or according to Chris, his wife's a former athlete because she used to do gymnastics. But in Brendan's head, because gymnastics isn't actually a sport to him, you, you know, you can't really call yourself a former athlete. And it's always interesting to me this thing because this is something that he does often. Brendan, he seems to have a little bit of a, you know, a finger against people who aren't. He seems to have a finger against people who call themselves professional athletes if they don't play conventional sports like American football, baseball, and basketball. Outside of those things, not even baseball. I think American football only, or maybe fucking, you know, basketball only. He doesn't have. He, ever, he has a real big issue with people calling themselves athletes outside of that, which is really strange. So going back to this, I honestly think, I honestly think he has a real kind of weird insecurity around maybe not making it himself in his, you know, preferred sport being American football. So anytime he hears somebody else who's made it in the sport that they actually wanted to make it in it just kind of sets him off right it's weird like it's very very strange um so it's good yeah exactly look even jordan ray said failed athlete gatekeeps failed athlete title exactly that's basically what it is i'm actually gonna title mine that way actually my clip failed athlete gatekeeps athlete title but i thought this was interesting also because i know a lot of guys i don't know if you guys are similar but i know a lot of guys and some girls also who don't play about their partner. They don't play about their partner, they play about their kids. Like some like some guys have even fallen out with friends because their friends said something that they didn't like about their partner. Like they were a bit they were being a bit too cozy, they were maybe being a bit too loose with the jokes, and they went off. So the fact that he can say this to Chris is just an indication again of just how weird social interactions are in LA. Because there's some people that don't play. If you sp- if you speak about their partner the wrong way, like you're gonna throw hands. It's gonna get fucking physical. It's gonna get violent, or they're not gonna speak to you again. So the fact that he would say this about somebody else's wife in a jokey way is a bit wild, to be fair. So let's play the video. Uh, national gymnast when she was uh, like she stopped at like 14. She was like she won the the state or some shit. Gymnastic is interesting. Do we consider Here a we sport? Go. He's right? gonna be a hater, right? <laughs> Do we can you know there's no Bro, ball it's involved. unbelievable there's no ball involved how can you not consider gymnastics a sport or it's not an athletic pursuit because it hasn't got a ball involved especially when you have you ever watched <laughs> the olympic games <laughs> have you ever watched what gymnasts have to do to you know attain a fucking top three finish have you seen how fucking stacked the competition is just to fucking qualify to be in the teams of like the United States, England, um, Russia, China. Like, have you seen how insane the competition is in those countries? Can you imagine what it must be, how competitive it must be to, to, to even represent your country at any level, let alone your fucking state? Can you imagine how hard it must be to do? Like, cause you know, you must, have, you, you must be able to be, you know, you have to be born a certain way, maybe some certain genes or a particular size, whatever it may be to kind of, you know, predispose you to do that sort of thing. But to argue against the athletic merits of being a gymnast <laughs> is fucking insane. <laughs> so what bro? You know, there's fighting. I'm going to beat you to it. So, okay. It's a bad maybe example. they should, there's balls know, involved. Maybe fighting. they should. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they should fight i think yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my god <laughs> who right. would win his wife would yeah, be yeah, Chris she, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. mexican dude that's what i'm saying she, she ninja just... warrior the wall to get here yeah 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 but also she's thicker you know? but no she didn't ninja... i love the ninja warrior the wall to get here as well it's a very interesting um maybe the, the thing i've always thought about this as well is like i wonder if brendan's impression of his wife is not a bad thing because he just believes his wife so his wife told him hey you know i'm from guadalajara i came here illegally but then when she gets in front of a camera in regular people she says she's from fucking la because why wouldn't you you're not gonna tell everybody you're, you're here illegally innit? you're gonna just keep you know turning up the lights so maybe i don't really hold that against him too much to be completely fair but again i just think 
this vibe, this kind of tension that exists on this show, I just don't think this show, this show needs more funny outside of like, let's start talking about our wives. Because if it's us going down that kind of lane, I don't think these guys are friends enough to make this like not offensive. You know, I think you have to be super close to somebody to allow them to joke about your partner. I don't think these guys are as close as they kind of make out. You know, my wife's like a stick. Yeah. You know, crowbar. Um, <laughs> but anyway. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo. I know some people who would legitimately beat you up if you said something slick about their wives or about their partners. They don't play. They don't play about their partners. They just There's just a line you don't cross. Calling his wife a crowbar. <laughs> it's just wild. It's like... <laughs> these LA guys just have no respect. Hey, uh, <laughs> I've been going fucking... But they'd have to do a dance-off instead. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if hey, you want that. Thing. Look at Eric trying to like trying to keep the the vibes somewhat cordial. Like look at Eric trying his best to, <laughs> to try to keep it, everything chill. Not either. Can yeah, dance, dude. Really? Latina can't dance? Well, I mean, I don't know. It's like a black guy not able to play basketball. I, I mean, bro, I've seen black guys not be able to play basketball. Just Chappelle AC. He can't wear it. Oh, he's bad. But really? Well, yeah, I've seen a cheerleader. Now here. Yeah, anyway, um that me that might be one of the most weirdest interactions I've seen from these podcast guys in a while, man. That was fucking tense. That was fucking tense. That was fucking weird. Um, they clearly don't like each other <laughs> the way that they probably think that they like each other. Clearly, in my opinion, the friendship isn't where it probably should be. Um, but wow, 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 <laughs> wow. This is legitimately one of the strangest episodes of Golden Hour I've ever seen in my life. Like, God almighty. But again, like I said, like I legitimately think that, you know, these guys are lucky there. I don't know. They just probably, I don't know. Chris probably doesn't really take it that offensive. That, that much of offense was almost stuff about his wife for maybe obvious reasons because he maybe doesn't respect her as much if he's cheating on her with a million woman who knows, blah, 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 blah. But it's just wild because I know, I know certain guys who would beat you up for less. And he's already said a lot in this interaction that would make you say, what? Do you want to step outside? Like, do you know what I mean? Or just throw something at his face. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Do you know what I mean? Personally, I've seen a lot of people who would really snap, really snap at the thought of you kind of saying something slick about their partner in any fucking way, shape or form. So the fact that he said that is <laughs> legit, <laughs> legit one of the most wildest things I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. But hey, what do I know? 